That's perfect lighting. The highest setting is perfect lighting, isn't it? It always is. Oh, that's awesome. It always is. Luke Perry situation. Bajas on my wall. Wow, that's a that's very. I respect that elemental. That's a very like kind of obscure to most people band, the uh, goth band, Bajas. They're good actually. Um, I enjoy them, but I don't really have any of their albums. I think Sam made me a like mega mix of their best shit. I should dig that out. Cause they're good. They're good. God damn. Plasmatics Wendy Williams. What? I'm high as fuck. Yeah, we're doing better, Maniac Monday. Thank you. We're doing a lot better than we were. We gotta yeah. we gotta raise three hundred and fifty bucks for a tire, folks. Yeah, hey guys, how you doing? So Money, of course, does not grow on trees. This is a fact. So, we have to come to you guys and ask, would it be possible to get some help? And if I would like you to donate it. You didn't put the thing on there. I, I would like you to donate it to the Reverend Dude PayPal. And Just put the link down on your phone and I'll do it. Got a raise. Holy shit. Nick sent me a message? Nick actually sent you a message? We no gotta hear way. it. No way, I don't believe it. It might be just from his fan, for his fans. Hang on. I mean... What? Nick sent you a message! We wanna hear it! I would be very happy with you. No, this is VIP. It's to all of his VIPs. Oh. It's not just to me. Oh, damn. It's to his fans. I got excited there. He has 6.2k fans on Cameo, which is... That's fucking huge. That's a big deal. Anyway, Nick's like a serious star now. The, the, he's my hero. I love this man. I love him. I want one of these hoodies. They're like probably 50 bucks. I want. I love Nick. All right. Here's the deal. We know that money doesn't grow on trees. They say, Rev, fuck you, get a job. I want. It. I am going to do that. Okay, I promise you. But I need a vehicle. I really do. There's Most of the things that I have to do are at least one to two, three miles away. Okay? I can't be walking everywhere. What I've been doing around one mile radius or whatever okay i've been footing it i'm getting my cardio so it's probably good for my heart and you meet people too it's cool you walk and you sometimes cool people like hey what's up you start talking you meet someone new and that's awesome you know that's like an achievement in grand theft auto new contact you know that goes in your phone that's cool anyway the fact is that our tire was mutilated by somebody we have a description from our son we have a description of the person. We're pretty sure we know who did it. <coughs> there are not cameras. <coughs> There's no cameras in the back. So, we may have footage across the street. Maybe. We'll see. Um, I don't believe it. I think the house is vacant over there. There's just work being done on it. I'm not sure. So, the police are going to have to get involved probably in this eventually. But I need a vehicle. So, $350 goal, guys. And you guys are awesome. You're really amazing. We're cutting our 48 stream, like, in half, pretty much. Well, not in half, but it's usually 500 for a 48-hour yeah. stream. Yeah. Where the hell is my phone? But it's we're right just charging 350 for our tires right now for the 48-hour stream. Um, because we need help. Yeah. We, it, 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 the thing is, everything you guys know, okay, everything is so expensive now. What did you look into a used tire though? The cheapest that I can get the tire is two hundred bucks. Is then that's what the fundraiser's for. The tire, yeah. the tire itself is two hundred. Okay, I need to tow it there, which is another hundred, and then there's going to be other costs guaranteed for service. So total, it would be three fifty. Now, if the service is more than fifty dollars. I'm gonna have to find a few bucks to put together to have the rest of the money, but that 350 I think is gonna cover everything. The tire, the tow, and the labor, I think will be good. Why won't you apply online to post officers? Jesus Christ. Yeah, well, thank you for that. He doesn't wanna talk about How his- How would I go for that? Wait, 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 just, let me just. 
Listen, guys. Wow. He doesn't want to go and talk about where he works or anything personal like that because people stalk. So even if he did apply to the post office, he wouldn't tell you due to how well, that, stupid yeah, people are like. Yeah, that's true. I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing in my personal life, number one. So if I had a job already, I wouldn't want you to know it, Carrie, that I don't know it all. Then don't beg for money. I have no fucking car to get my wife's medicine. Okay, guys, just stop. She's a fucking cunt. Just stop. I don't have a car to get my wife's medicine. Just stop. $20 ride in Uber per mile. It's like... Fuck. Just stop. Jeez. Get me off the screen. Get me off the screen. I'm done with this. Yes, I... I... Fuck you, I carry here. Fucking punk. Jason William... Will you stop? Apologize. No way, asshole, are you? Stop it. No, I'm done. I won't. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm done. I apologize. No, I'm done. You won't hear me again. I promise. I'm sorry for the offense. I see. I said I'm sorry. Sorry for the offense, but you won't hear me again. Because I'm done with that bullshit. That's what I'm getting. And I, I, I think it is time for men to stop using that word onto women to degrade them. I'm not happy with him, I'll just say that. But, but seriously, I'm going to ask you not to use that word or talk to my audience like that ever again. Because I don't appreciate it. Okay? If your mental health is getting away with how you're treating people, maybe you should remove yourself from said scenario. That's what I did. I love you. I love you too. But do better. Yeah, I love you too. I love you too. Because I don't like that shit. No, I hate it too. That's that's why I always, it, it, after it happens, I always feel like crap. Because take me off the screen, please, because I'm having my pipe. Uh, I always, I always hate myself after outbursts like that happen. That's why I need to have a psychiatrist or whatever. That, that's what I need. So I'm sorry, and I'm gonna get help. You know. Wait. All right. In May, June. I don't know. Men need to be taught how to treat women, period. And I don't care how anyone takes that. Um. <laughs> I could say so many things like that, and I would say I don't care how nobody takes it, but I do care. I do care. I, I, I definitely care how I'm treated and how people around me are treated. Because, see, like it or not, we're together, so what you say is a reflection onto me, and I don't want to be reflected like that. Like it or not. Yeah. So, it embarrasses me. I mean, I... Do you realize I had a really good reputation in the fucking prophecy community? Yeah, but why okay. can't you... Why can't you let me have a good reputation? Well, why... Why, okay. why is it okay for you to control... I'm not say anything. I'm just, I, why is it okay for you to be able to control your tongue when you're doing prophecy, but you can't control your tongue when you're doing my show? That's kind of disrespectful, don't you think? I was disrespectful. Yeah. By her. Okay? <sighs> Paying audience members, sure. That's why I apologized, okay? I apologize for it. Can we move on? I'm sorry the outburst happened. Thank you. Yes, absolutely, because I love you, and I don't want to be like that ever. That's yeah. That's shitty. I, I, it, it's called being a professional. Yeah, it, you're right, and I fucked up. Okay, I'm sorry. Like, you do that at a job, you're gonna get fired. That's why the doctor said you should be on disability, kid. Like, people aren't gonna handle that type of behavior. Exactly. That's why I would get fired. Because I have those stupid outbursts for no reason. 
like a child. It's it's like a child would do that. Yeah. You know, a bold, petulant kid in in school that's had disciplinary issues. That's weird. Why the hell do I have that? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so if you can control your tongue doing your prophecy channel, yeah. you can control your tongue on my channel. Of course I can. Yes. I was, I'm sorry. I just was going up and down the hill today, and I have lots is on my mind. I, I understand. I'm sorry. But please be self-aware of what comes out of your mouth. I have to be. For this. If it's mean, yeah. if it's nasty, Don't say it. if it's condescending, Don't say if it's it. negative. Don't say it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not a child. I know these things. It's just when my when, when I feel threatened or offended. I can say shit that's really stupid. Then try not to be offended by everything. Yeah. That, why should I be offended? Yeah. It because, was a... because other people have a way of looking at this, and I understand that. Yeah, most people work. Well, of course. I understand that fucking shit. You know? So. We'll get through this, guys. Yeah, a doctor told my he told me and my mother when Can I put your face yes, on? Yes, yeah, you can now. I'm sorry. I was in 2004 I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder and both my my general practitioner doctor, the psychologist at the time and uh like authorities that were involved with it all agreed. They said, "Kid, you're going to have issues going forward in your life." It's a guarantee because we see your, they did a brain scan of me and everything. Okay, they had like probes in my head studying my brainwave activity because I was like half almost catatonic, completely almost. So they said, "Look, you're going to have issues going forward, so we're going to file this paperwork ahead of time for you. And if you want to put it in, you can do it right now. If not, hold off. Go ahead. Try and live your life and see how you are after you get out of here." Because the doctor said, yeah, he can go. He's not a uh, danger to himself or others. I was in a mental ward in Carbondale at Marion Community Hospital. is the name of the hospital. And they diagnosed it and said, yeah, here's your disability papers. File them now if you want. But that's it. You see what they're saying? I have mental illness, too. It's not an excuse. And they're not saying that to put no, pressure on you. They're, they're saying that because they, they with mental illness, have, have, have done similar like things yeah, in the past. But you have, but listen, this is what a therapist will tell you. Okay. Cause we've all been through it. You've never, you haven't gone through it yet, but a therapist will tell you, you got to learn how to control your actions and your reactions to things. Well, I already know these things with that. Maybe that means I'm not as mentally ill as I thought. I just have to have somebody walk me through coping s sober or get me on medication, because the mania is what causes this. It's mania. But anyway, this was a different thing. I actually felt severely offended, because I know, I've already said to you folks. Oh, Elemental's like, this is therapy, Jason. Yeah, we've all gone through therapy, so this is kind of like DBT. Group therapy, yeah. Yeah. Well, let me make it understood why I reacted this way, because I've already make it, made it understood to folks on my channel that I agree with you that I need to get employment. Okay, I agree. I have severe anxiety that I have to get under control, and as soon as that's under control, I'll have nothing to worry about. I think I'd be able you know to what? handle I a job. I know what to give you. When I get medicated, I what know. do people not understand about this? Here, if your anxiety, <laughs> take some Benadryl. No, I don't need this shit. I'm not smoking Delta. No, honey, take the Benadryl. I want to smoke Delta. I know. Take that with the Delta. It will calm your ass down. All right, fine. Take now, it. now, all of us who have dealt with anxiety knows that Benadryl really helps with anxiety if you don't have any anti-anxiety meds. People need to learn mercy. Because a lot of anti-anxiety meds are like over-bloated uh, Benadryl. So... Can we... Shani? <sighs> Shani. Somebody needs a lesson on Sodom and Gomorrah and, and inhospitality and unkindness. That's all I'm saying, man. <laughs> Honey. No mercy for the weak. You're going to be okay. Just calm down. Sure, but I'm just saying. Just don't get defensive when someone says their own opinion. Not, uh, yeah, I was defensive. That's true. <sighs> but can we have some mercy in the house of God? I do breathe in. Benadryl can make anxiety worse. Not for him. Not for me. No way. This is, like, very good. 
Sudafed too on Trump. Like Sudafed. Trump. Thank calm you. down. Okay, calm, calm down. down I want you to calm down because I love you. And you're on edge. And and since you have schizoaffective disorder, it's a lot like bipolar. So we got to try to disarm you. Because you think everyone's out to get you and we're not. We care for you. I have mania. I definitely have mania. No, I have schizoaffective and I believe bipolar disorder. Both. Well, schizoaffective disorder is like bipolar. Mimics it. Yeah. Then I. That's it's it. It's a mood disorder with uh, temporary schizophrenic-like effects. I had a mental evaluation, and that's the conclusion they came to. Yeah. Are people going to call me a liar? I have to show my medical records. No. I don't give a shit. No. I'm telling you, I was diagnosed with it in 2004. Would you advise Benadryl if he, if I had some Ativan for him? Yeah. I'd take an Ativan. I know what I'd give him an Ativan. I know what they feel like. I never had one, but I know what they feel like. Like I'd take an Ativan, definitely. I have anxiety. He's willing to take them now. Trust me, Carrie. I never said I wouldn't take an Ativan. No, you said you wouldn't take SSRIs. That's not an SSRI, is it? Mm -mm. No. That's anti-anxiety anti medication, am yes. I right? Yeah. Yes. No, that's not an SSRI. Well, it can be addictive, so it's very highly controlled. They'll probably give you like 10 pills for the month. Yep. Old Pepsi bottle. That's the shit. What do they give for schizoaffective disorder? Usually anti-anxieties, no. antidepressants, and uh, 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 antipsychotics. Bingo. That's what they had me on. They had me on Zyprexa, which is an antipsychotic medication. How'd you feel on it? Horrible. You were just adjusting to it, though. No. More suicidal. I was uh, two weeks into it. Okay, you can't say that word. Gotta be careful. Carrie says she takes an anti-psychotic. Yeah, good for Carrie. So, um... I mean, she has all the answers, doesn't she? Pretty well, good. she goes through the same thing you go through. All right, well, if that's what I end up on, I've been waiting for mental health, which... Uh, like I have to repeat myself a billion times. I know. People like, have really? short-term memory. Yeah, apparently they do. Well, these are people who have trauma, dear. Fine. Well, I know they watch us on a regular basis, and they know this is the case with me. I've been trying to get mental help for a year. Yeah. And there's no help. It's okay, Jason. There's no help. It's okay, Jason. You're taking offense again. They are offensive. No, they're trying to help they you. Are I see them trying to help you. I don't you. care. We I'm... like to discuss psychology, and you're taking offense to no. it. No. I'm moving on, though. I'm literally moving on. And what I'm saying is I want help. And I've been pursuing help, and there's been nothing. Because it's wait, wait, wait. And then they cancel your appointments. Because it's Medicaid, that's the problem, I believe. I think that's it. <sighs> Pretty simple. Is it depressing? Does it suck? Yeah. But a lot of people are going through this, the same crap I am. That's for sure, the same crap Shani's going through. She wants to get her PT done, she can't. They close all PT because of COVID. It's still like that. Wow. I need to call them and see hey, w what's the update on that. Yeah, you can probably get back now, probably. Oh, I can't wait to go back. Because mm -hmm. I really want to go back. I really want to go back. I can tell. Without a doubt, I can tell. Oh. <coughs> 
look up lam Lamictal. It's a uh, medication for bipolar. Huh. It could, you know, we could say that it's urgent. They, they, See what they do. They want fifty dollars. We'll we'll figure out how to get. <coughs> it. Okay. Before any of this, I need to be able to drive again. Yeah, I know. Period. Yeah, before anything, we need to drive again. Before anything, that's it. Like I'm not trying to be whatever things aren't right down the road everything isn't just right down the road you i we need a mode of transportation shanny can't walk any distance we need a vehicle so and i don't i'm not asking you to buy me a fucking car i'm saying somebody from the community put my tire out with rebar that's what happened somebody from the community that lives around here put my tire out with rebar, and I'm asking kind people to put, donate, to put 350 together so that my family can survive, and yeah, I'm going to be getting a job as soon as humanly friggin' possible, dude. And I'll be getting help as soon as humanly possible. So I have no delusions. I'm an adult. I can think. I, I have a thought process. I'm not that messed up unmedicated. I'm pretty with it unmedicated, actually. I can think. Please don't say that, Elemental. But that's it, that's it. Yeah, that, actually they did. You see? See? There's Ugh. huge holes in the... Right, Carrie? You know what, guys? I think I'm going to have to end this live stream early because someone's not feeling too good right now. I'm fine, man. I'm just going to watch Buffy. Yeah, I don't feel like being embarrassed. Wow. So I'm gonna go and let this guy calm down. What the hell? I'm I'm sorry for everyone for that behavior. Oh my God. <laughs> I love you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow.